Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Darren from UK Pro Talent Training. So I get asked so many times by people that have just got their own little jobs to do in Thailand, which tile could I do I need? And so many people just go and buy a wet saw and then what they have to do is cut 95% of the tiles straight through with the wet saw through here. So the question is here is do we need a wet saw or do we need a, a manual dry cutter? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both cuts for people that are inexperienced and just beginners of like how to do a straightforward cut in a wet saw and this like sort of dry cutter. So let's have a closer look at the actual machines. So what we have here is the basic of, of wet saws and this is called a Vitrex wet saw into 450 watt. So it's just a small machine. So ideal if you're just going to be like sort of doing your own kitchen splashback or a little tiling job. And it's not really that heavy duty, so you kind of go and put like sort of heavy porcelain or natural stone. But if it's only a little ceramic tile job you have, this one here will be perfect for the money. Retails for about 50 pounds UK. This is the next size up. Um, this is a 560 watt. And then this one is about 80 pounds, 85 pounds retail. And it's just got a lot more torque, a little more, a lot more power. So if you're going to be dealing with porcelain, floor tiles and stuff like that, I suggest you get the better quality one than the small one. And then we'll have a, a manual tile cutter like this. So like I said before, this is going to do about 95% of all your cuts. So really in an ideal world, you'd have this and you'd have one of these as well. So um, these range from 50 pounds in your DIY centers um, up to professional levels, which are really expensive. But if you're just going to do your own little cheap job, um, just get an inexpensive one. So I'll show you how you do two straightforward basic cuts with these two machines. Okay, so now we're looking at this particular wet saw. So whenever you go through a tile with a wet saw, you must have glasses on because as the blade spins, it will throw all the chippings of the tile back and forth to your face and you catch your eyes. So never go through a tile saw without a pair of glasses on. There is a water tank in these. So what you do is you add some water to that and you will see that just this outer rim of the blade here is where you fill the water to. So don't, again, lots of people make the mistake by they put too much water in. As soon as you switch the machine on, the water is just thrown out, continuous this way. So the trick to get this like sort of without getting soaking in front of you is just to put just enough water in where the blade this just rim here, so about 10 mil, catches that rim there, and that'll be enough to pick up the water without getting soaking. So I'm just gonna do a straightforward cut straight into this, straight through this particular tile, and cut it in half. So, switch the machine on. Okay, so you can see how long this actually took to do this single cut here. So on your talent job, if this is the only machine you had and you've got to actually like sort of cut dozens and dozens of tiles for the edge of the benches and corners and angles of the walls, it's going to take you forever to like sort of get through this. However, if we go to a straight cutting machine on the actual manual version, you'll see we'll do this in actual seconds. So let's have a look at the cut of how you do it in a manual dry cutter. Okay, so now we're on the manual dry cutters. This is gonna be much faster and a much cleaner cut than what this will be. So most of these are the same and they have like two rails like this and you have a scoring wheel and you always have some kind of braking foot like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this braking foot out the wheel and we're just gonna score this straight to the top like that. All we're gonna do now is lift this up, put the braking foot at the top and just hit that down so you can see there within like seconds, I've literally like sort of cut that tile perfectly cleanly in half, which is a lot better than like sort of running through that. So again, a lot of cuts to do on this job. 
this is the machine really you want to be like sort of doing um, all these straight cuts for. The only time I really ever use one of these wet saws is if you have a check out some of the other videos I've done, I've done some like sort of corners and um, maybe some U shapes. You might have to take like a sort of a center out there. So the other videos, if you check them ones out, it'll show you how to do like sort of these, um, these problems around sockets and corners of windows and stuff like that. But like say any straight cuts you do, you want to be always doing them in one of these manual tile cutters. They all pretty much work the same way. Um, and then you'll get your job done sort of much faster. So a nice little easy video this one, just for like say the beginners to like sort of get the grips of which machine they want. This one or this one, you can see from that which is the best, which is probably going to be this. Uh, but in an ideal world you need both. So if you like this video and you want to see more, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and like, it helps the channel grow and, uh, and hit the notification bell as well and you'll see all the other videos. So lots of the other videos are a little bit more advanced but this is a nice little basic one because it's a question I get asked so many times. So thanks for listening. See you in the next video.